Well, Kyle, has Tuesday's win breathed a fresh life of confidence into the squad? I think all winning in general, no matter what competition it is, I think you know it always breathes a bit of fresh air. And you know, after two defeats, <clears throat> to get the first win of the season is obviously important. And hopefully, we can build on that from now. Yeah, and a win in the cup is nice. Is it even more important to get a win on the board in the league now? Yeah, for sure. You know, but I think at that that point, after two defeats, I think you take a win in any competition. You know, um, just to, just to get a win, the winning feeling back. Uh, we felt that in the change room after the game, and you know. Once you do get that win under your belt, you know I think you can go on with strength, to strength to strength. And Tuesday night, yourself and Stefan Payne sort of leading the attack. It seemed like that combination was working quite well. Yeah, you know, obviously we worked hard. Um, sometimes we, our play wasn't as good as it. We, well, I speak for myself. But probably wasn't as good as as I know it can be. Um, but yeah, I think we worked really hard, and and we did cause them quite a few problems. Do you feel like as a combination that it could be something good for the club going forward? You sort of offer different skill sets almost. I don't think that's for me to answer. You know, I think that's for the manager to answer. Um, I don't pick the team, so I just go out there and get told wh where to play and, and I do that to the best of my ability. So I think um, that question will have to be directed to the manager, not to me. And good to get your first goal of the season? Yeah, it's always good to score. You know, like I said, about the win. It's important to, to get on the board with goals as early as you can. Um, and it gives you a longer time to, to, to get as many uh, as you possibly can for the season. So, yeah, getting off the, the mark early was quite important for me. And we know how skillful you are with your feet. How many goals have you scored with your head before? Um, I think that's the first. In your <laughs> professional career? Yeah, I think that's my first. You know, yeah, it definitely is my first. I know that. I obviously scored one against Melksham in the pre-season, but obviously they don't, really, they don't count. So, um, yeah, it's my first professional goal with my head. And hopefully as many more of them to come, <laughs> like salmon headed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dangers at corners now at the front post. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the challenge uh, this weekend, Wickham, I mean, newly promoted side in a similar yeah. position to yourselves looking to get their first win. What do you expect from them? They'll be, they'll be tough to beat, you know. They've um, played against um, Gareth Ainsworth teams quite, quite a lot. And um, they're, very, they're very tough, they're very physical. And um, they put the ball in, in, in certain areas and, and make you deal with them. So... Um, it's going to be a tough game, um, probably a little bit different to, to the other games we've played, but you know, I think we've got the, the players and um, the tactics to be able to overcome that. Do you prepare differently for yourself personally when you know that it's going to be a particularly physical game? I know generally in, in League One they all are, aren't they? But is there anything you can do differently to prepare for that? Do you mean me personally or in terms of the team? You personally in terms of your position and what you're going to come up against? Um, not, not necessarily, you know, I, I always just prepare the same, I just go out there and to me it's a game of football. so. Um, I go out there and do and do try and do what I can do um, to affect the game. Obviously, you know there's another side to the game, not just attacking. So defensively, just putting yourself in the right positions, you know. But I try to do that in any game anyway, because um, if you're in the right position, it, it gives you a better chance of being able to attack anyway. And in terms of your recent experiences with them, I think I'm right in saying with Portsmouth, you lost both games to them in, in League Two. Yeah, I think we did lose both games. Like I said, they're they're a very um, opposite team to the way the way that that, that we played down Portsmouth. So. Um, it was a diff difficult game for, for when I was at Portsmouth. It was very difficult, but um, obviously we still over over overcome the league at the, in that particular season. But them games do cause you different problems, and um, it will be the same on Saturday. And Adams Park as a venue, what sort of stadium is that like to play? And is there anything that makes makes that stand out at all? Um, not not particularly for me. Um, I mean, other people might might say different, but for me, like I say, for me anyway, any stadium I play at it's just another game of football you know um, whether there's 5, 10, 15 or 10,000 I think you have to get in your mind frame that it is just a game of football so I don't think I mean probably when I was younger I used to get a little bit overawed maybe by, by certain crowds or certain stadiums but now it's, it, uh, I think as I got a bit older I just felt you know it's a game of football and you, you're never going to be liked by everyone no matter the amount of people that are there so and the squad's in a good place does it feel the last few days of preparation heading into Saturday's fixture Again, sorry. Is the squad in feel like it's in a good place? Obviously, we mentioned the first win. Does it feel like it's in a good place heading into Saturday's fixture? Nah, for sure. You know, uh, we brought in some fresh faces into the into the squad, which is obviously important. And um, there's a lot of competition for places now. Um, we've got quite a few in every position, so I think everyone's um, chomping at the bit to play. And you know, I think I mean, if you know, if you're in the team and and you probably possibly don't perform as, as good as you, you, you possibly can do, you, you might find yourself out of the team. So I would definitely say the team's in a good place, yeah. Thanks a lot. No worries.